Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be walking you through how I mount watercolor paper to board. To start, you'll need cardboard or something to protect your surface from the glue we're going to be using, a wood panel uh, to mount the watercolor paper on, and golden heavy gel. You can use gloss or matte, I just happen to have gloss, and a foam brush to apply the glue with, and of course heavy watercolor paper and a rolling pin or speedball roller which you'll see here in just a few moments. To begin, you'll be using the foam brush to apply the glue to the front of the board. This is where the watercolor paper will be laid down. You want the glue to go on as evenly as possible in a nice thick coat. Pay close attention to the edges of the board as well. You want to get glue all the way to the edge, but you don't want to get it too thick in any one spot either because it could cause the paper to bubble. You want enough glue on the board to make sure that it's going to be well adhered to the board and some of it will probably be absorbed into the paper itself. So if you don't have enough glue on it, over time it's possible that it could start peeling up in areas and that is definitely something we want to avoid. Make sure to apply extra glue on the corners especially because if it's going to start peeling up anywhere it will be these corners first. To lay the paper down, as you can see, I folded it up and I started in the center and then laid it down outward towards the edges. And this is also the method uh, I'm going to use when I roll it out as well so that the glue gets pushed out towards the edges. I used a rolling pin because at this point when I made the video I didn't have a speed roller yet, a speedball roller, which is like a little... It's a rubber roller that's used for screen printing, I believe. Um, so if you don't have one of those, rolling pin worked just as well for me. I grabbed another board that's the same size as the one I mounted. You can also use a cutting board or something large and flat. Put that on top, that way when you put the large box or heavy items on top of that, the weight will be distributed evenly. Allow it to dry for at least 12 to 24 hours before removing the heavy items. The first thing I'm going to do is check the corners. You do this by gently pulling on the corner, and if it doesn't lift, it's good. There we go, perfect. You can see there's no gap. So you check that all the way around to make sure all the corners are good, and you can always add a little bit of glue if they're not, and put everything back on top of them, let it dry again. I used a matte knife to cut the edges of the paper off wasn't anything too fancy here, just tried to be careful not to cut myself and I used a cutting mat for this, so protect your surfaces. The last step I did is not required, but what you can do is take some sandpaper to sand off the excess glue and a little bit of the paper shredding that might have happened when you went to cut it. If you put this in a frame though, a frame will cover all of this, so it's not needed. It's just up to you if you want to do it. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you have any questions at all, feel free to place them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. I will see you next time. Bye!